So it's been a little bit since I've done one of these videos. We will not call them an unboxing video. We will call them merch buys or whatever. Because apparently YouTube doesn't like it. But it probably doesn't matter. It's something pertaining to professional wrestling. So of course there's a freaking problem with it. But nonetheless. As I've told you before. I'm trying to significantly upgrade the Man Room game throughout 2017. So that way hopefully come 2018. I have a Man Room that all of you can look at. And be proud of. You can hold up as a standard for. I want that type of thing. In my life. Because again fellas. Once you get locked down by the lady. You don't get a whole lot to hang on to. Most certainly not your dignity. So you have to pick and choose your spots. And one of my spots is the man room. It's one of our sanctuaries. It's where we can get away. From the estrogenal treachery. That we put up with in our day in day out lives. I hope some of you enjoy these videos. Some of you do, some of you don't watch, so it's whatever. Some of you probably don't. You think that's low quality brow crap, but I enjoy doing them. So again, as part of hashtag make wrestling fun again in 2017, I'm going to continue to do them. So too bad, so sad. So let's go over what I got this time. The first item was kind of a unique item, and I had one of these a, a while back, but I had given them to the Dan Gable Wrestling Museum to auction off a few years ago as part of their silent auction uh, to help raise money for what I felt was a worthy cause. Um, and I had a couple of them, so I'm trying to get them back. Remember the old Beanie Baby craze of the 90s, and probably a lot of people to this day rue the decision to so heavily invest in those old Thai Beanie Babies and that whole fad, thinking they were going to retire off of their collections. Uh, pfft, eh, wrong answer. But nonetheless, from a collector's standpoint... I think this Know Your Role Boulevard and Jabroni Drive uh, rock Beanie Baby from circa about 1999. This is a pretty cool buy. Um, it's the main event edition. He's got a little bear. He's got the rock hat. He's got the Smackdown Hotel embroidered on the front or stitched on the front. Know Your Role Boulevard and Jabroni Drive's on the back. Comes in this big glass case. You know where I got this one this time? I'll tell you. I got it at a garage sale for five bucks. I don't know why they had just the one. I don't know why they were only selling it for five bucks. But as soon as I saw it, you never know what you can find at a garbage sale. And five bucks for this from 1999. I got to put them back in the right place, obviously. Hey, you know what? I'm down with it. I don't know where I'm going to display it or what I'm going to do with it. Uh, but it is what it is. I'm going to cuddle up with a little attitude and remember when wrestling used to be a lot better. Uh, the next big buy, I saw it at, I think it was Target. It was on clearance. I'm sure a lot of other people saw it too. So they went ahead and got it, and so did I. This Ultimate Warrior Defining Moments figure was all of like 13 bucks, you know, from his Ultimate Maniacs time, him and Savage in mid to late 92. I mean, the artwork on this is pretty cool. I haven't determined yet if I'm going to actually take it out of the case or not. I probably will. This is not something I'm really going to try and sell. It's something I'm going to put somewhere on a shelf with other figures. So it probably will end up eventually out of the case. But look at that. Defining moments, 1992. There are other defining moments from Warrior's career. But that is one of them, I suppose. And I thought it was a pretty cool figure. Now let me go ahead. I got a couple of more Hogan-related things here. A couple more quirky buys this time. I don't know if they're necessarily fit into the get displayed in the man room category, but nonetheless, I bought them because I like the items. Um, so let me go ahead and get this first one open. It's kind of a smaller item, but I saw it and I thought it was kind of unique and I knew it was older. It was from the eight, early to mid eighties. And I was like, you know what? I got to have this. And first time I'm opening this thing up, it is a Hulk Hogan keychain. And look at that baby. Look at that. You can barely even see it because it's so small and the camera's resolution's not picking it up even though it's a 1080p. Oh, look at that, man. Hulk Hogan and all his blonde receding hairline glory from the mid-80s. There's a part of me that wants to just put this on my regular keychain. There's a part of me that just wants to put it on display somewhere. But I paid like four bucks for it, so what the fuck? Why not? And I got one more Hogan-related item this time. Let's see what we got here. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. The stove pipe or stove top hat, whatever the hell you want to call it, from back in the NWO days. Look at this. I know there's some more of them listed on eBay. I think there's like Sting and Goldberg and DDP. They're still new with the tags. What's cool about the tag, let you know it is 
The website is WCW.com. It's got the WCW slash NWO logo on it. Uh, it's from 1998. It's a WCW NWO officially licensed product. And what's really cool is <laughs> it says to be put on the WCW NWO mailing list. Fill out this information on the tag and who your favorite wrestler is. And send it to World Championship Wrestling Attention Mailing List. One CNN Center Box 10533 or 366 Atlanta, Georgia 30303. You know, there's a part of me. Of course, I'm not going to take the tag off for that. But there is a part of me that is almost half tempted and almost wants to tell you as well to be half tempted to write to this address and see what the hell happens. Again, that's World Championship Wrestling Attention Mailing List 1 CNN Center Box 105366 Atlanta, Georgia 30303. I think I am going to write to this address and I'm going to see what the hell happens. I'm going to see if it gets sent back, returned to sender. I'm going to see if I never hear anything back about it. I'm going to see if I get a freaking response. If I do what the response is going to be. What the hell? Why not? If you guys want to do it too and see what the hell happens and you need the address, well, either A, just rewatch the video to the part where I just mentioned the address twice or hit me up on Twitter at OTRS Central is the show's Twitter handle and let's let them know at CNN Tower who our favorite WCW wrestler is and let's see what the hell happens. <laughs> but anyways, that's it. That's all I've got this time. I haven't made it to the collectible store or anything to see if I can find anything else wrestling related. But if you think you could find anything, like legitimately, none of you wise asses, but if you think you can find anything legitimately that um, you think I should buy, then let me know. And remember again... We're still in September. We only need 10 more Assume Jeff Jarrett position shirts to be bought this month in order for me to have to buy the four disc best of Jeff Jarrett TNA DVD set from several years back. Have to watch all 16 hours and then come on here and review it. Remember the proceeds from the sale of that shirt and all shirts from OTRS Central at the Pro Wrestling Tea Store are going to be donated to hurricane relief efforts, whether that's Texas or Florida or one of the Caribbean islands. It remains to be seen. We can figure out those logistics later. And not only that, not only will those proceeds go, I will also match them 100% out of my own pocket. So step up to the plate, help out a good cause, and make me suffer, bitches. Ten shirts to go. We can do it. You can do it. So let's do it. And let's mail CNN Tower and see what the hell we get as a response.